And now, part two of Hidden Agenda. Hey, Simon, how you holding on? Um, hanging in there. A lot of extra work whenever there's a freak on the loose, I guess. Okay, okay, guys, settle down, listen up. Hey, listen up. We lost a cop today. Another one won't be returning to active duty. And it could have been even worse. I know it's gonna be tough on all of us, no one here ever thought we'd see the day that Jack Calvary went down for the count. He, uh... Well, let's be blunt, he wasn't the kind to catch his flies with sugar. But he was one of us. And this atrocity cannot stand. Excuse me, Sergeant. What's the latest on the witness? The call girl? We got an APB out. And, uh, one for this Adam Jones, too. We'll keep you a bit. Until we have reason to believe otherwise, we are treating this as a trapper copycat. It's entirely possible that Jonathan Finn is somehow pulling the strings from behind bars. We have District Attorney Felicity Graves here to help with the investigation. She is familiar with the trapper's M.O. She's here to help. Please extend her every courtesy. Detective Marnie, I'm gonna need you to look into Calvary's old trapper case files. We're looking for links here, anything we could have missed. Yeah, sure. Got it. Okay, time to get moving. Just remember, Jack Calvary is watching from whatever shithole he ended up in. Let's do him proud. Hi, Miss Graves. How you holding up? It's tough losing one of the ranks. No matter how it goes down. But thank you for asking. Let you know if we find anything. Do we have a problem? What? Do you really think that I have something to do with this? Becky, come on. Oh, no, Tom, you come on. Uh, will you move, please? I'm your partner. We have to be honest with each other. Honest? Fun. Here's honest. Everybody knows about this beef between you and Calvary. Some of these guys, they don't think you're all there. You've got to start watching out for yourself. Tom, you're accusing me of murdering a fellow officer. You had motive. I'm just doing my job. Why are you pushing me, Tom? What? I don't get it. Are you trying to rile me up? You want to go a few rounds? The hell? Because I will. Oh, I'm sorry. Is that a threat? Adam Jones was definitely at Las Palmas, same time as Finn. Allegedly died in the fire that shut the place down. Now, according to Finn, Jones grew up to be the trapper, but... How can that be possible? 
doesn't make sense. LeMay, orderly at Las Palmas, in and out of the third precinct lockup for years, but known for his uncanny ability to avoid doing any real time. Seems likely that he knew people on the inside. If the third precinct cops were the trapper's targets, well, he connects both worlds. His brother, Vernon LeMay, works in sanitation downtown. I'm gonna pay him a visit. Have a little chat. <laughs> this is 609 in pursuit of suspect. Party made foot bail. Stupid, okay? I don't gotta do anything. No? I just wanna talk to you. What the hell you wanna talk about? Put the gun down. I just wanna talk. Las Palmas Orphanage? I need your help. The sooner you cooperate, the sooner this little misunderstanding will be over. Just stay back. Drop my weapon. Okay, see? I only want to talk to you. God damn it. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say. Anything I can and will be used against me. Yeah, story of my life, lady. Yeah, let's go. Ain't looking too good right now, Vernon. I guess low-life numbskull just runs in the family, huh? What? Quit dicking me around. This is about your brother. Adam Jones. Ah. Uh, what can you tell me? Bro mentioned him once or twice. Said no matter how much he wailed on him, the kid would just look back at him with these big old dead eyes. Just taking it. Bro could do whatever he wanted, no matter how much the bastards complained. Cops weren't gonna touch their golden goose. Why is that? You know what? I think my mouth just got tired. I think it's time for my lawyer. I know my rights. Elaborate. I'm gonna spell it out. He supplied. For everyone. Yeah, you're gonna send me up the river? You better make a hell of a lot of extra room. Why is that? Because I'm taking half the police department with me. You want to keep fucking with me? Ah, hey! Ugh. We're not done yet. Hey, get this crazy bitch off of me! Hey! Frankie! He was quite the ladies' man, huh? What? Always what? knew how to find a date. What? Ah. A girlfriend! Who was he seeing? No. No. Who was he seeing, numbnuts? No one, really. What is that? Well, he met some escort online. Show me some pics, like, you know, X-rated stuff. 
Last time I talked to him, he was setting up a date. So what, is that a crime? Last time I checked. Jesus, Becky. Putting on quite a show. I almost had to jump in. Well, he was holding back. Just had to speak a language that he could understand. Good call. This stuff about LeMay and the guys in the third precinct, is that the one you were dealing with back then? Teller was the ringleader over there. Kept his cards close to the chest. But I knew something was up. That's why I left. We have to tell someone about this. No reason to dig up the dead just to drag him through the mud. Yeah, I gotta keep that blue nice and clean, huh? We have bigger fish now, Tom. Back to the beginning. The Undertaker. The one target Finn had no clear motive to kill. No apparent connection to Las Palmas. Widow claimed to have no idea why Finn would want to kill her husband. Maybe five years have given her a fresh perspective. I'm gonna go see if she wants to be chatty. Yes? Miss Johnson? What do you want? I'd like to speak to you about your husband. What are you, a cop? I ain't got nothing to say to you. No, ma'am, I'm not a cop. I'm a reporter doing some research on the Trapper case. Mm hmm Do you have any idea why the Trapper might want to harm your husband? He did more than harm that son of a bitch. He killed him. Tore his damn throat out and thank God for it. At least someone had the balls to put that scum in the ground. I would have liked to shake the trapper's hand. Do me a favor. Well, I'm very sorry to hear that your husband treated you like that. Sounds like he had it coming one way or another. Yeah, one way or another. That all you wanted? I'd like to know if, um, your husband ever used the services of a call girl. <laughs> what are you, kidding? He suck his pecker in everything from high-priced spreads to gutter cleaners. I gave up keeping score. Ma'am, have you ever heard of anyone by the name of Adam Jones? A kid named Adam used to help my husband out sometimes before he lost his undertaking job, but that was a long time ago. Could this be him? Maybe just grown up a bit? Mmm, well, yeah, could be. Yeah. Are you sure? Take a good look. Yep. I say that's him. Well, thank you for your time, Miss Johnson.
Uh, this is 609, in pursuit of an unknown suspect. Average height, dark hoodie. If these killings are connected to the Las Palmas orphanage, Father Rominski is at the center of it. It's just too bad that the rest of the clergy took a vow of silence the minute things started to get hairy for him. But Finn told Felicity that Rominski had some kind of secret room at the orphanage. Couldn't find any reference to this in the police records. I guess it's time for me to head over to Las Palmas and take another look. Oh, hello, ladies. It looks like Father Rominski was a regular customer. Fits the pattern. Whoa. Thomas? 
Finn was telling the truth. I found Rominski's playroom. Interesting. Nothing fun about it. And it seems like the father had a thing for call girls. The same as Calvary. Plot thickens. All right, headed back. Detective Marnie? On my way to see Simon Hillary. At his house? After hours? Yeah. I'm really starting to think there's a connection here with the prostitutes and the trapper killings. Hillary might have some forensic evidence we've overlooked. Go easy on him, all right? He's pretty shook up from the fireworks this morning. It's just a few questions. It's no big deal. Detective Marnie. Hello. I'm sorry to bother you at home. Please, come in. I can't believe how close I was to the... I can't even say it yet. You got lucky. You're telling me. Just another split second and... My God. You examined the trapper's rigs last time. How did this match up? Same guy? Yes. I, I, I do believe it's the same trapper. How can you tell? Well, the... the rigging in his nose. I mean, the only way to describe it would be artful. Masterful, even. Do you remember Las Palmas? The uh, orphanage, the case from a few years ago. Unspeakable. Yeah. Yeah, we're doing some digging. The father there, Rominski, seems to have a thing for the ladies of the night, which is starting to feel just like the Calvary case. And Walsh, the Undertaker. Hooker, same thing, night of his death. That's just too many hookers to be a coincidence. Huh? Unless every single man in this town is a John. Well. I'm working on a new theory. It's just a sketch, but I think you can help me. All right. Was there anything you found that might point to the killer being a woman? Well, there was trace evidence. Yes, it's, it's possible, certainly. Is that data still available? Of course. Uh, the records were archived when Finn confessed. Are you all right? Sorry? It's this morning. I, I'm st still a little shaken up. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I don't know. Something's fishy. It's like we've got all these tidy little puzzle pieces, but... The picture on the box makes no sense. Feeling like there's a lot more to this than just Jonathan Finn, you know? I'm not sure I do, Detective. And now, the Calvary murder, maybe Finn's still a part of it, but... But what if someone else is pulling the strings? I'm suddenly feeling very unsafe again. Finn's Adam Jones apparently survived the orphanage fire. Worked for The Undertaker, Trapper's first Vic. The widow even identified him from a picture. I'm sorry, I am still feeling very foggy after the explosion. Sorry, just a moment, I'll get that all cleaned up. My apologies. I'm just, I'm still a little scattered. Don't worry about it. Here, let me help you. All right, I've taken up way too much of your time. It's no bother, really. Oh. 
I know that you didn't get to finish your evaluation at the crime scene. Is there anything that you may have missed? Well, I, I don't think so, but uh, this was no typical attack. Whoever Calvary was with, you probably knew them. Thank you for your time. Okay, that was odd. Simon basically freaked out. And that hoodie, was he following me at the widow's house? My gut says that he's mixed up with this somehow. Time to do some digging. Eight twenty-three p.m. Revisiting the crime scene of Detective Jack Calvary's murder. Gonna have a closer look at the bedroom first. It's not that big of a place, but I always have to wonder if the forensic team missed something. Marks spread outward on the headboard from the, um, the origin of the blast. Explosion was highly directional. If Simon did know about the bomb, it's possible he could have avoided serious injury. Okay, now this is just... Huh. Okay, now who's this? Oh my god. That's... That's from the Widows. Dollars to donuts, that's the same hoodie I saw drying over Simon's washing machine. 
Shit. <laughs> wow. Well, I never thought I'd say this, but thank God Calvary was one perverted piece of shit. This is huge. I can explain. Yeah, well, you damn well better. I will. I will, just... Could you start talking? I needed to know. Know what? About you. What were you trying to find out? I know you and Calvary had issues. It's putting it mildly. That's exactly my point. The inquiry? Jesus Christ. You two? I have to look at this from every angle, Becky. You know that. Okay, if you wanted Calvary out, then you could have used Finn's confession dependent on the trapper that's opportunity and motive. You're right. And so is this oh right God. now. Oh, God, please. Please, Becky. Who is he? Who am I? Who? I'm sorry. For you, for you to think that I could do this. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, that's the end of part two. Hit the box when you're ready to move on.